Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to Auntie T Row. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to do your love reading for May 2019 today. I call in all my guys, angels, ascendant masters. Please help me be a clear channel for this Scorpion Collective who will be watching this video to provide clear, accurate reading for their highest good. That is useful and timely for them at this time. We're going to start with these oracle cards just to get the feel of the energy for you guys for May 2019. Spirit Guys Angel, what's the current energy? Okay. Balance Partnership. That's good. Balance Partnership. So you guys may have been working on balanced. That's what's that's that's the theme for this month for you guys. I feel like I need a pull one more. Let's see what else. Usually I've only been pulling one, but I just feel like there could be another one. Are there any other energies for scorpions in love? Okay. Destructive behaviors, joyful times, unfounded fear. So balanced partnership. Destructive behavior, joyful times, and unfounded fear. I've only been pulling one. I don't know why I have a need to pull more for you guys. And then three more came out. So we'll see. We'll see what what how the reading goes. So it could be maybe for a couple of different groups of scorpions, or maybe. Um, Maybe a combination of all that. So we'll see. Alright, so let's start with the tarot card now. This is my first time using this deck. I believe it's called Luna Soul. I purchased, purchased it fairly recently. And I have not used it in a reading. So I'm going to use it for you guys. Nine of Swords. That's interesting because when I was doing the pre-shuffle, right before I turned on the video... This nine of, I mean, nine of wands, nine of wands or nine of swords kept coming out for you guys. So, Okay, but this is nine of wands. So you guys have been hurt, wounded, but you're still hanging on, you're on guard, you're defending your cause, your case, yourself. See, he's, he's all bandaged up and wounded and hurt. But he's still holding, he's still hanging on, watching guard, standing guard, having his his one up, defending. So you guys, despite everything you've been through, the hardship, the hurt, the pain, the wounds, the struggle, you're you're hanging in there. Defending I don't know why I had said defending your cause. You know, defending yourself. You have your guards up, your defense up. And you're defending something. But it's been it's been a rough it's like a warrior on her last leg. So let's see. And then underneath that that came out with that is a king of wands. So you guys could be dealing with perhaps a um a, a fire sign, Leo, um Sagittarius or Aries. Or you guys are just defending your cause or defending your case, defending whatever with a passion. So, it could be both. All right. What else, Spirit? What other messages are there? Oh, the wish card. You guys are balancing yourself. This is wish coming true, wish fulfillment, but also balance, balancing yourself to have your wish fulfillment because that's the first card that came out, balance partnership. So you guys are working on, on balancing yourself.
Spirit, guys, angel, what other messages do you have for Scorpions in Love for May 2019? Messages for Scorpions. Seven of Swords. There was some deception. Some deception. Someone was sneaky. Hiding something from you. Maybe stealing stuff from you. But deception. Trickery. Not honest. Five of this. Here's another balance card. You guys are balanced. Traditionally, five of this is the five of pentacles being left out in the cold. Someone could have taken you for money or you having a hardship, financial hardship in regards to finances. But in this particular deck, this guy is balancing, balancing his, his disc. You see? He's balancing. Is it too bright? Let me see. If I turn this off, is it better? Yeah, it may be better. So he's balancing all these pentacles on his back. So you guys may be balancing your finances or trying to hold on to your finances. Oh, maybe also trying balancing and holding on because he's trying to hold on and, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's difficult because it's not in a stable place, so it may fall. So you guys are balancing and trying to hold on to finances, maybe due to this deception. Maybe due to the deception or the theft or, or the stealing. Does somebody like embezzle money from you guys or take money from you guys or steal money from you guys or something? Because the word embezzle just came to mind or came to me. Spirit guys, angels, ascendant masters. Okay. Temperance. Wow. Another balancing card you could be dealing with um you could be also dealing with an aquarius which i didn't say but because of the star card but you have you yeah your moderation your balancing and then the the first card that came out was balanced partnership and you have two balance so you have three messages of balance So this is another card of, of balancing. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but then the fire sign came out here too. So that covers that. So I don't know what's caused you guys to have to balance so much. Does something become imbalanced? And now you have to work on balancing everything. Here's the king of swords. An air sign you could be dealing with, or you're just wheeling your sword, like enough is enough, and you're cutting out all the the crap, because you have your guard up. Okay, here's the nine of sword, which I thought the um, the nine of wands that came, fell out first, I thought was the nine of swords, but this, this did come out a lot in the shuffle, pre-shuffle a couple of times. So you guys are stress, stress, anxiety, sleepless night. Can't sleep, nightmare, headache, staring into the ceiling, king of cups. You could be dealing with a water sign too, Cancer Pisces, or another Scorpio. Seems like there's couple of different people in your life. Spirit guys, angels, Senate Master, what else? What other messages do you have for Scorpio in love for May? 
four of cups. So you're dissatisfied with the current situation. But there is, or dissatisfied with all the current option, or, but there is another option, but you're not seeing it yet. It's like you're just satisfied with 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 these different offers. So this came out after the King of Cups. So did someone, another water sign, may have made an offer or proposition to you, and he may not have been the only one. There's three right here, but you're turning your back on all three of them. But there is another one that's more, um, more from the angelic realm that you haven't seen yet. More from the divine realm or from the spiritual realm. Another offer that is, um, that is more divine for lack of a better word. So it's like you have these offers, but you're not interested in any of these offers. You're dissatisfied with these offers and you're turning your back from them. But there is another offer coming in or another offer on the outskirts that you have not seen yet that is more divine. And this other card came out. Okay, the hangman. So you guys are taking a break to look at things. To look at things objectively from a different angle, different perspective. Three of pentacles. Discuss, you may, you guys may be discussing a different option or a couple different options with a couple other people or having a discussion in regards to the, the, the state of affairs, state of finances. How to rebuild it. Because he has his hammer and tools. And she's holding a bag of coin. And here's this coin. So a joint effort. Or a group effort of trying to figure out what to do. With this situation. This is very interesting. I have no idea what this situation is. This deception. This theft. Someone steal. There's so many finances this month. I think Leo has a, had similar thing with money. Spirit guys, angels, send a master. What other messages do you have for Scorpios in love for May 2019? Messages for Scorpio in love for May 2019. What other messages do we have for Scorpio and love for May 2019, Spirit? Is it this one? I'm not sure what one popped up. I'm going to try again. Okay, now that one fell out. Ace of Swords. You're going to have clarity. Clarity and new beginning. So after this, after this uh, pause, this time out of looking at things from a different perspective, different angle, getting, uh, getting some wisdom, you're going to have a discussion 
on what to do with the situation and then you'll and you'll have clarity clarity I think we're done with this deck. All right, let's see this deck. All right. Messages for Scorpios in love. This one might. Okay, Eight of Cups, you guys are walking away. Walking away. Okay. Nine of Swords, quickly. Going to have a clarity, have clarity. After you go within, you're going to discuss it with maybe trusted friends or family or group of people. Have clarity, walk away quickly. Spirit guides, angels, ascendant masters. Okay, four of cups. Here's the four of cups again. Have four of cups twice. There's many offers, but you're not interested. Or many options. You're not interested, in your, but you're not seeing... You're not seeing, you're not seeing an offer that's given that is of value because you're looking in the wrong places. You're focusing on the wrong thing. Oh, but maybe that's, okay, I got it. So that's why when you're hanging upside down and when you go within, you're going to look at things differently. You're going to look at things from a different angle. So if you're looking at things from a different angle, then you're going to have clarity. Okay. Because your theme, right? Your theme is balanced balance partnership. Balance, okay, I got it. That's why, okay. So the the energy for the month is balance, balance, partnership, and joyful times. But you, but then destructive behaviors and unfounded fear also came out. And I was confused because you, I've only been pulling one card for the energy for each sign so far for the month. But then I felt the need to shuffle and pull more cards or one more card for you guys. But then three more came out. And two are positive, balanced partnership and joyful times. And then the other two are not so positive, unfounded fear and destructive behaviors. And which are sort of the two messages are conflicting, but now I, I think I understand because what did I say? Looking at the okay, focusing on the wrong places or looking, looking for love in all the wrong places. That song just came to me. The words to that song. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that there is a relationship. Remember I was saying coming down, coming from the divine. And, and see, this is up above her and she can't see it. And it has wings. That's why I had said angelic realm initially because this cup has wings on it. And then this, she's sitting here, and he's above her. It's like a, a level up. So the the balance, the balance partnership and joyful times, it's like it's there for you. But you can't see it right now because you're looking at these three cups. 
and you're only seeing what's on this level instead of of looking at things from look in a different direction like turn around if she would turn around and look up she'll see it here if she would just look up she'll see it so the opportunity for balance partnership and joyful times is there but you're not seeing it and so you're you're in this energy unfounded fear and destructive behaviors but with this you will have new beginning and clarity will come in. Truth will come in. And that's why you walk away. So let's see. Let's see what the outcome will be. Spirit guides, angels. Okay, queen of coins. Abundance. Fruitful abundance coming in. Could be with an earth sign. A Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And look, the, the Hierophant. The Hierophant. So you could be blessed. This guy reminds me of, um, is it Katumi? The Saint Katumi? Saint Francis. Saint Francis. I think Katumi and Saint Francis are the same people. The same with different incarnation. But anyway, St. Francis of Assisi. He re this the eye reminds me of the ones that attract animals to him. So it's like you have a guide, the saints there to guide you and help you with abundance for a uh, committed relationship, this balanced partnership. It's there, and it's coming in. What was I asking? What's next, right? So it's there. Once you walk away from all that deception and negativity. Spirit guys, angels, what, what will be the current, what will be the outcome for Scorpios in love for May 2019? The outcome for Scorpions. Look, lovers. Okay. Love, love, connection, union, commitment, fruitful abundance. Is there anything that scorpions need to know? Princess of Wands. You have to cut, cut out the negativity. And stand in your truth. The sword of truth. Cut out the negativity. Because I was thinking. The cards keep falling. Judgment. Queen of sword. And nine of coins just fell out. So there's going to be some karma, judgment, cutting out, rule, etiquette, manner. That's the written on this board. It's like this. She's the teacher and she's reprimanding. Okay, so there's judgment. There's going to be judgment with this queen of sword in regards to your behavior or your actions or your past action. This is a little confusing. And then the nine of, pe nine of Pentacles, which is independence, abundance. Okay. Spirit, please clarify this judgment. Please clarify this judgment. What is this judgment about? Mm. 
Knight of Coins. Okay, the judgment is about money. I see this guy is holding on to money. Did something happen with money? Because I got the word embezzlement earlier. And then there was deception in regards to money. And this guy is holding on to the money. Trying to hold on to it, but yet it's falling. This and then the strength part also came out. Some kind of karmic, some kind of karma. That's going to come out in regards to money, this judgment. Because I asked for clarity of this judgment. This judgment has to do with the hoarding of money or the stealing of money, the holding on of money. And you have to be strong about it. Okay. So what is this Nine of Pentacles about? Spirit, guys, angels, can you please clarify the Nine of Pentacles? All right. Oh my God. It's the Four of Coins holding on to money. What is this money you guys are holding on to? Okay, so it's the completion of this holding on of money. You're going to take a risk and start over. It's going to be a change. Big change. And then Seven of Swords Deception. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what energy I've tapped into or tuned into, but it's very confusing. I know it has something to do with money. Possibly an embezzlement, deception, theft. Someone is holding on to money, trying to hold on to money. There's been stealing. There's been, see, this guy, he's stealing. Seven of Swords. We had, we had Seven of Swords twice. So I don't know who is doing the stealing. If someone has stole from you guys, or did you guys steal from someone? Oh my God. Some kind of theft. Some kind of theft or deception. Maybe in regards to money. But there's going to be a judgment. Karma. There's going to be karma. Karma. But I don't understand if I'm picking up two separate things or are all this related in your relationship with someone that you were in a relationship, stole from you, or did you steal from someone that was in a relationship? I mean, that you were in a relationship with? I'm not sure. How Take it how it applies, how it resonates. Six of Cups, Reconciliation. So maybe the stealing or the, the deception of money is what caused this stress and nightmare and this wounding of you having to stand on guard to defend something, which caused that restless, sleepless night, stress, insomnia. But there will be judgment and there is going to be love coming in and reconciliation so the message is conflicting i'm confused maybe if, if this if this resonate with you maybe you guys can shed some light in the comments for me because i don't know if you guys are dealing with a couple different people there's a lot of people here and someone stole from you but then but then there's another, there is a love there that's coming in, or there, or were you dealing with two different people, and one was deceptive and stole from you, and the other one was good, but this is Six of Cups getting together, love, connecting, 
reminiscing, nostalgia, missing, reconnection. All right, let me just do this. Please, angel card. Spirit guys, angels, messages for scorpions in love for May 2019. Messages for scorpions in love for May 2019. Higher thought. So think higher thoughts instead of this uh, fear-based thought. Think positively. Any other messages for Scorpio? Releasing. Okay. Release. Okay, so maybe it's, it was done to you. Maybe the deception was done to you. And someone did steal from you. That's why you were hurt and wounded. So, Spirit is saying to release whatever. The pain, the hurt, the anger, all that. And, the, and you'll have harmony. Release it. So you can have peace and harmony. Think higher thought. Because whoever did that to you, the judgment's coming. Look. Right. Alright. Angels, what messages do you have for scorpions? For the Scorpion Collective watching this video that's going through the situation. Messages for Scorpions in love for May 2019 in regards to this situation that they're going through. All right. Angel of Families. Wow. So there's this love. There is, despite what you're going through there is this love and this family and this connection and this balanced this balanced partnership messages for scorpions in love from may 2019 spirit personal power So that's why you have the strength card. The strength card. Come into power. You're coming into your power. Let's see. Let's look it up and see. Personal power. See if there's any additional messages for you guys with that card. Personal power. Take responsibility for your actions. Reclaim your power. Emotions are powerful and can cause us to feel alone, overwhelmed, and anxious if we haven't had the opportunity to express our situation or experiences. A symbol of polarity of positive and negative. The Siberian tiger asks us to address our personal power issues. The tiger has chosen to visit you today to encourage you to express your deepest feelings embracing your darkest personal experience and transform it into positive thoughts and actions. Okay, so that fits with the rest of the reading, right? Release release with that releasing card that I just had for you to release. Have higher thought. And also empower yourself coming into your personal power. That's why you guys have the balance card several times. Because you are you have to balance yourself, balance your emotion in regards to the situation. That's why you have the temperance and the star and a balancing. To transform it into positive. Embracing your darkest personal experience. 
and transform it into positive thoughts and actions. Okay, so that's the main, main message, main theme. Once we decide if a particular experience is good or bad, we then make a conscious decision about what to do next, identifying our method of emotional expression. We either speak up, become neutral, or we don't speak at all. Not speaking up, however, can leave us feeling helpless, placing us in a victim mindset. Tigers are predators and understand the need for secrecy, perseverance, and patience before committing to their prey. Standing strong and powerful is essential to their survival. In the same way, experiencing darkness helps us build strength and resilience. Right now, the tiger asks you to relinquish your victimhood and take responsibility for your own thoughts and feelings. Embrace your hardships with love and acceptance. Use them as a source for personal motivation. Take responsibility for your own actions and the part you have played in your current circumstances. By doing so, you will begin to reclaim your personal power. Okay guys, so what you've been through may have been dark and painful, but Spirit is saying to, to um, not try not to be a victim if you can and reclaim your power and take responsibility for your part in it like how do you create it was it your fear did you manifest it do you you know create it? whatever whatever your part was that you play played in the current circumstances because by doing so, you will begin to reclaim your personal power. So that way, you're not a victim like, oh, this happened to me. You know, you can claim your personal power by, by taking part in it. I mean, by, by, you know, realizing what your part in it was. Even if it's just a thought, maybe negative thoughts or the fear created it, you know, because our thoughts are powerful. So I know that's hard to swallow, but just meditate on it. Like what, what role did I play in this? How did I create this? Okay, now is the time to encourage a healthier environment by releasing toxic relationships and or friendships in your life. Negative attitudes and emotional vampires are manipulating your soul's freedom. Oh my God, that's a powerful statement. I've never seen, I've never read such a thing in a uh, guidebook before. Negative attitudes and emotional vampires are manipulating your soul's freedom. Wow. Remove yourself from the game. Cut these negative cords and be free. Affirmation, I am more willing and able to stand in my own power. Each experience enhances my love, strength, and self-worth. Wow, you guys, according to this book, you guys may be dealing with some psychic vampires. That's why there's so many sores of cutting. Okay, remember I was asking what do you scorpions need to do? And then there's this sore, and I say wheel. So you see how she's just, there's the sword and she wing it like cut it and it's like zap. So you guys have to cut the cords. That's why the sword came out to reclaim your personal power. And you have to be strong. You have to be strong and have strength. And then you'll have this new beginning. And then uh, releasing higher thought and then harmony. You have to cut it out. Cut the toxic out, the manipulation, the psychic vampires. That's sucking you dry. 
Oh, that's why you guys are in this state. In this state. Oh my god. All bandage up, wound it on your last leg. Okay, so now it all makes sense. It's all coming together now. I get it. All right, let's do um, one final message from the Pleiadians. Pleiadians, okay. There's two. Divine purpose and divine plan. Wow. Okay, divine purpose. You have journeyed here to the earth plane with your own unique divine purpose. You have a purpose all your own. While still of the spirit world, you and the creator agree upon the purpose of your life. Okay, that reminds me of the, that message, remember where I say you were talking to a bunch of people? Okay, and deciding. I don't know if this is the case, but that brought when I read that, I brought that card back to mind. Okay, I'm trying to find where I was. Okay. You have a purpose all your own. While still of the spirit world, you and the Creator agreed upon the purpose of your life. How special you should feel when you contemplate what this means. Remembering also that you are part of the divine and that you are connected to everyone and everything will help to sustain you on your journey toward fulfillment of the promise. If along the way of life you feel lost or uncertain as to whether you are on the right path, let this card help you turn to the Pleiadian Emissaries of Light for guidance. Through prayer and meditation you will be confronted and guided. You will you will develop an inner knowing that will confirm your path and purpose. Affirmation, I am grateful for my life and trust the guidance of the Creator. And then the second one was Divine Plan. So they kind of go together, Divine Purpose, Divine Plan. There is a divine existence that created life. Okay, so I'm getting another epiphany here. That's why I kept saying there's a higher... I didn't I couldn't I I couldn't think of the word but remember a higher phase a divine guidance that's what I had said I couldn't think of it that's what and then the other card had the okay this remember I said there's a higher an angelic divine okay so now it makes sense there is a higher path for you that you you're not seeing quite yet but it's there for you Okay, so now I get it. It's coming together. Okay, so there is a divine existence that cre that created life. Whatever your beliefs, you, you are on a divine journey. Prior to this journey, you helped to form the framework of this life in order to fulfill the divine plan for your life. After birth, your memory of this plan fades. Life, with all of its many challenges and emotions, can be overwhelming but it is the way of the divine plan working out in your life. Sometimes you might lose sight of that fact that you are a part of a benevolent, beautiful, and loving universe. If you have forgotten this truth, let this card lead you to call upon your angels, spirit guides, and ascended masters to help you understand your path, plan, and purpose. They are waiting to assist you. Affirmation, I am grateful for the unique divine plan of my life. Okay, guys, so now I have clarity of your reading, why I was confused, because there's two thing, and I, I wasn't sure if I was picking up for two groups of scorpions. So what it is, is it's like two reading in the one. Because you have your 3D life or your current life situation right now that are of uh, unfounded fear and destructive behaviors with all the deception and negativity and defensiveness and being on guard. But there is like a, a totally different level. It's like there's a level that's higher up on almost like a parallel dimension it's like existing there for you. It's there. And you can tune into it. 
and you can live it if you just look up you can it's like you can transmute yourself from this plane to this plane which is what I had picked up when I was reading it but I didn't understand so it's like it's like there's two planes one is this plane and one is this plane and they're going parallel like this but one is lower and one is higher vibration and they're and you're living on this plane oops my hand was out of frame so it's like parallel going like this this level and this level like this level and this level this level here and then this level up here with this cup so this is the level you're on this is the level that is potential and they're both existing simultaneously parallel almost like parallel world and they're like this like parallel right parallel and so you can go from this plane to this plane up here and that's why i'm picking up two energies and was confusing so spirit's telling you that you're you're living on that plane but you have the ability to shift it shift it and transmute it and with your personal power by cutting cutting this negative manipulative vampire toxic energy and then you can empower yourself and move through higher thought higher ground and have harmony and change to go to this plane where this person is waiting for you Oh, I got it now. Okay. See, she was down here. And she she made it. She made it up here. And look, there's the cup of love. You see the heart? It's there waiting. So you guys can move from this plane to this plane. And that's where you can have the balanced partnership. And the joyful times. Wow, look at this. That is so cool how this reading came together. That is amazing. That is really cool, guys. It's like you made it up here and they're waiting for you. Your special someone, your soulmate, your twin flame, your lover to be. Balance, partnership, joyful times. It's there for you. It's there for you. Okay, so that's good news. But first, you have to cut that that toxic energy out. Will your sword cut it? Get your personal power. Release. New beginning. Take a risk. Okay, so that's a little summary. And then you get this. This is really nice. All right, Scorpios, that will wrap up your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. Let me know in the comments if it did. If it didn't, hopefully next month it, it will. Wishing you all the best. Love and light to you. Until next time, take, take care, Scorpions. Bye.